What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to have your buy now button with your add to cart button on your product page. Now this was suggested um, by a fellow subscriber. So I know that um, I have done a video on this in the past where uh, I showed you guys how to just create, make your add to cart button into a buy now button. But uh, some of you suggested what if you wanted to have both. Let's say you wanted to have a add to cart and then on the side or at the bottom you want to have a buy now button as well. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that in this video. So first thing that we need to do is head over to your dashboard and we're just going to need to install plugin. So go to your plugins and then go to add new and then just go ahead and type in buy now. And we're going to want to install this, this plugin right here, direct checkout add to cart. So click install now and then activate it. Now we're just going to go into the settings. So um, the first part that we want to do is make sure that enable redirect on add to cart is uh, disabled. Okay. We don't pretty much, we don't want people to click on add to cart and have it go directly to the checkout. We only want that to happen to the buy now button. So that's why that needs to be disabled. And then go ahead and click on um, save option. And then from, from there, we're gonna go into um, our buy now button. And we're gonna go ahead and just enable our buy now button. And then we're just gonna go ahead and um, save the option. And you also have the option to change the background color of your buy now um, button. But that also depends on your um, WordPress theme as well. That might affect your uh, buy now button. So now we're just gonna go ahead and check out one of the products. So as you can tell, I have my add to cart and my buy now. Now, if I were to go ahead and click on add to cart, it would add it to my cart. And if I were to click on buy now, it would take me straight to the checkout page. So uh, let me just go back actually, sorry. I'm on a, I'm on a local host, so sometimes you'll tend to have those issues. Um, so as you can tell, it's pretty much all set up now. Now let's say you wanna stylize this. Now there is an easy way to do this and there is a hard way to do it. Um, the hard way is pretty much just um, going through your uh, your code here. Let me actually make sure that this is um, on full width and you can go ahead and, ch and go in here and you know try to change the, um, you can just go in here and just try to adjust the code of this. Now um, this, now what you would do is just grab this and maybe paste it on your customizer. But you know what, guys? I mean, instead of doing all of this, I honestly got an easier way. Um, and the easier way, you kind of do have to pay for it. But you could probably just, if you're on the Cadence theme, um, you can just use my uh, my code that I'm using, and it's going to work perfectly. Um, and I do have a video on on the Cadence theme. It's probably one of the best um, e-commerce um, themes out there. For, for WordPress, so if you guys wanna go ahead and check that out, I'll have a video on that on my channel. Um, so pretty much, if you wanna just customize this a bit, um, I do have a code that I'm gonna add on here. I'm gonna go to customize, and then I'm gonna go to CSS, and then I'm just gonna add my CSS code in here, and as you can tell, it's gonna basically adjust it for me, and then I'm gonna click publish. And it's pretty much all set up for me here, and it is mobile friendly here, so I'm gonna go just go to expect, and as you can tell, it's pretty much all set up here for me. So it's looking great on desktop and mobile. So um, if you guys actually wanna learn how to just do that on your own, um, I would highly suggest getting a plugin called Yellow Pencil. And it's pretty much a custom CSS styler. Um, and that's basically what I use to grab the code um, to use on my website to just kind of adjust uh, my, my add to cart here. So. Um, I'm actually going to walk you guys through how to do that. And if you guys do want to get um, Yellow Pencil, I'll have a link to that in the description so you guys can go ahead and just check that out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and you can pretty much with Yellow Pencil, you can go onto any page that you want to edit the, the stylizing of it. Um, and it's actually pretty cool because I know that there's some pages within WordPress um, that you can't use Elementor with and those are maybe your product pages. Um, your you know blog post depending if you're using the pro version or not um, but you can completely customize a WordPress theme with uh, yellow pencil so it's actually pretty cool so let me just walk you through um, customizing your uh, add to cart and buy now button 
if you if you do um, happen to get um, yellow pencil. So I'm going to go ahead and just edit with a yellow pencil here. And as you can tell, it is already set up for me. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab this global um, code here. And I'm just going to go ahead and remove it. Now, um, from here, as you can tell, it's not really looking the best for me. And this is kind of how you're going to see it on your website. Um, so if you have yellow pencil, you can just go ahead and just start um, ad adjusting this. If you want, you can actually move this panel around, um, but it's up to you how you want to go about doing that. I'm going to go ahead and just move it here to the side. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and click on this um, add to cart button. And I'm just going to drag this over. And it's really that easy, guys. So you just drag it over to pretty much where you want it. And then I'm going to grab this one here. Um, my bound now button and I'm just gonna click on this one as well let me just click on this and I'm just gonna oops that's not the one I want to grab okay so let me go ahead and make sure that actually I'm gonna move this over here maybe make it easier on me here and then I'm gonna go ahead and just try to get a click on this let me go ahead and see uh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. So you just needed to click out of that um, Sometimes that might happen. Just go ahead and try to click out of that I was kind of selecting the entire thing and that's probably why I wasn't able to edit that as you can tell so you just kind of need to click out of this um, area here so Let's see here So I would just let's see you can just click escape which just kind of works as well So anyway, go ahead and click on your bun here and then just drag this over here Pretty much the size that you think you'd want it probably just about the same size as your um, add to cart button and then we just want to space this out a bit and also uh, make the button bigger so i'm going to go ahead and go into my margin now remember the margin is the outside spacing not the inside so um, from the left side i'm going to move this about 10 pixels um, and i think that's perfect there and then i'm going to go into my padding which is uh, the, the inside um spacing so i'm going to go ahead and click on here and then i'm going to go into padding and then um, from the let's see here from the top I'm gonna do maybe add 20 and you just kind of want to adjust this um, I might even be oops let's definitely not do that let's do 20 so 20 is too much so let's do about 14 you know what, what we actually might do instead now I'm gonna adjust this as well so that's fine now we just need to uh, make sure that there's no spacing above so let's go back here to the pad to the margin and then from the top we want to make sure and we make uh, make the margin zero uh, sorry that's the bottom actually but we can do that as well just remove that from the bottom and then from the top sorry we want to have that zero there we go and then let's go back here and let's adjust our text here and let's maybe make our text a little bit bigger just so then it's kind of same size as our um, add to cart and there we have it so it seems to be the exact same size there. Now you can adjust um, your margin um, and your paddings just to get those about the same size. But I think you guys kind of got the gist of that. So go ahead and click on this button here. Make sure you're on that button. Go back and then go to background color. And we're just going to want to change this to um, orange here. Or you can change it to red. Actually red looks a lot better. So change it to, um, to red there. And then what we can do is save it. But So that's looking great now. But that's only looking great on desktop. So now we just got to go ahead and make sure that it's looking great on um, mobile as well. So what you want to do is click on responsive mode and then drag this all the way down. Probably to about 400 is the size that I always uh, adjust it to for mobile. So I'm going to go about 400. Um, that's fine. You can probably do a little smaller here. Let's do about exactly 400 if we can get it to. There we go. All right. So clearly this um, needs to be fixed here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab this one and I'm going to try to drag this one over a bit. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. Now this might be a little bit tricky. For sure this can be a little bit tricky. So just go ahead and click on this button here. You might not be able to just drag it here. Um, so click, click on the button. And then go ahead and go into um, margin. And then just drag this all the way down. Probably leave it a spacing from there as well. And then click on this one and then just try to see if you can maybe drag this button down here so maybe just just where it's spaced out pretty good i think that's perfect right there and my button is also fitting perfectly as well and you can just adjust this as well you can move this around 
however you would like. Um, you can drag it and maybe add some padding to it. And it's gonna be set up pretty much for mobile how it is now. So I think that's perfect. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save this now. And then I'm gonna go and just check this out. So I'm gonna click on exit, close editor. And then I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this. And there we go, now it's working perfectly. I'm gonna click on inspect. And that's working great as well. So that is pretty much it for this video. Um, hopefully this did help you guys out. If you guys do have any questions on this, which I feel like you guys might, um, I know that a lot of people don't really go through the CSS part a bit as well, but with the yellow um, pencil, you're kind of able to do it yourself. And you don't really gotta know, you don't really gotta know much CSS. Just, um, you probably don't even need to know the basics, but um, you probably should know the basics, um, at least have an understanding of it. But if you don't, that's fine. Um, it totally works anyway. So um, that's pretty much it for this video. If you do want me to share the, the custom code that I use for the Cadence theme, because I think it's only gonna use, it's gonna only gonna work for the Cadence theme because that's where um, I got the code from, from um, Yellow Pencil. Um, go ahead and just comment down below and let me know just in case I forget to add the code in the description. And as always, um, if you guys haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any of my WordPress videos. Um, and yeah, as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.